Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Dwight Dillon and I help IT professionals who are just stuck in front of a computer all day long as their job develop the confidence and social skills to further their career by presenting their ideas to the people that matter most and getting them to say yes. So, how do you do that? Well, I've got a great tip for you on how to build your confidence today. When you got an idea and you want to present it to the people that matter the most, you've got to prepare. Okay, you've got to prepare a lot so that when you go up there, you know exactly what to say, you know exactly what the reactions are, and you're feeling confident, as confident as possible. So, let's walk through this a little bit, okay? I'm going to basically give you three principles to three directions to go in, okay? So, first one, make sure that you've got your idea super clear, okay? If you need to write out everything first and then bullet points... Do that, okay? But make sure that your idea is clear. Next, go ahead and practice your idea in front of the mirror at least 10 times so that way when you are ready to present it to the people that matter the most, the your mouth knows what to do, the ideas are there, it's not a big deal. You just flow, okay? Once you get comfortable practicing in front of the mirror, then go and find friends and family, strangers, animals, and practice it in front of them so you get just used to practicing it in front of people, okay? Whoever it is, how many times, the more you do it, the better. I would say 10 to 20 times to really just get it in there, okay? Now, um, so that was three. One more, just as a bonus, this will actually keep you accountable, okay? You might do this actually before you write out your ideas, is set a date for when you're going to present your idea, Okay, even if it's you just send out an email or you talk to your boss or whoever it is and person said, hey, I would like the opportunity to present an idea that I have that I think you'll love to you guys. Just hear me out. You do with it what you want, but that's my idea first and set a date and time. And once give yourself plenty of time, of course, maybe, you know, two, four, six weeks in the future. And then once you've got that date, start practicing. Okay, so. I hope all these tips have helped you out. If you've gotten some sick value from this, go ahead and click the link below so you can sign up for the newsletter called Daily, excuse me, Weekly Shot of Confidence, where once a week, maybe twice a week, you'll get an email from me giving you tips on how to pump up your confidence when you need it the most in those high anxiety, doubtful situations like the moment right before you go right before you go and present your kick-ass idea to the people that matter the most to get you to where you want to be in your career. All right? So once again, click the link below, put your name and email, and that way you will join Team Dylan and get those weekly shots of conference. All right? I'll talk to you later.